First quote. I think Bill's draft pick Josh Allen is trash. I don't care what nobody say, he's trash. Said Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey to GQ's Clay Skipper. <laughs> is this too harsh on Mr. Ramsey's part? I would make the argument yes, simply because the dude hasn't like actually played a game. Like I find it highly unlikely that Josh Allen will be good. I thought Josh Allen looked bad the last time. I mean, he's got a point. I mean, he's basically translating what everybody is thinking. Like, if everyone's collective thought balloon <laughs> suggested that Josh Allen is trash, Jalen Ramsey's the guy to point that thought balloon and say, guess what? He is, in fact, trash. Well, he also went deeper in the story and had, like, a hodgepodge of stats to put it together. But again, you're wishful thinking for real on Josh Allen. Next quote. And just being honest about it, Flacco sucks. I played him two years in a row. He sucks. Said Jaguars quarterback Jalen Ramsey to GQ. Huh. Too harsh? I have to say that Jalen Ramsey has a point. <laughs> the numbers also back him up here. Joe Flacco signed a market-setting deal after he won the Super Bowl and has, in fact, been, what was the word? Oh, yeah, yeah, sucks. He sucks. <laughs> yes, now, there's an argument that jo jo Joe Flacco has been the worst starting quarterback to start in all those years since the Super Bowl came. He wasn't even that strong beforehand, but he was there with the team that won. Now the team has changed, and they do not really win anymore. But people don't really say it out loud with Flacco in that way. They don't. He's made Super Bowl. Big Ben Roethlisberger. I think he's decent at best. He has a strong arm, but he ain't all that. Said Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey to GQ. Bomani, does he have a point on Big Ben? Roethlisberger, not quite as good as he used to be, as would be expected. He's got miles on him. I think this is his 15th year in the league. Yeah. But Ramsey's point was that the receivers have been more special as of late than Roethlisberger. And Antonio Brown is a better player than Roethlisberger is at this point. He's got what he needs around him to get it done. It is fair to ask, do they have the quarterback now in 2018 to get it done? Just because he was the man in 2010 doesn't he mean he's the man in 2018. Ben Roethlisberger does resemble a child's drawing of what an adult looks like, but he also has the benefit of being covered by, yes, very talented supporting players who obscure how his decline is actually Well, he's been progressed. inconsistent. That's the biggest thing. He can still do really good things, but how often can he do them? Next quote. We never go against the offense in practice. We don't want to hurt his confidence. That'll probably hurt his confidence. Says Jaguars quarterback Jalen Ramsey about hmm. Blake Bortles. Pablo. How would you feel if you were Blake Bortles? I would feel pretty terrible because Jalen Ramsey, again, is correct. <laughs> I mean, one of the things about being the quarterback that Jalen Ramsey plays with is that he apparently will not do you any favors verbally. Now, in games, apparently, yes, they will treat you with kid gloves, but he's also telling us without really saying it out loud that yeah, this well, guy also may suck. Except he started by saying in the interview, he says that the Jaguars should have trusted Bortles too much because he's right. The play caller was crazy predictable in that game against the Patriots. He said they should have trusted him more, but then says if he plays against their defense, it'll hurt his confidence, which strikes me as a man that you can't trust more. Like, that was the problem the Jaguars had in that game. Not that they didn't trust the quarterback, but they had a quarterback they could not trust. And this is Jalen Ramsey trying to follow the rule that you understand. You never say anything bad about yes. the quarterback. But then the truth came out eventually. It did, and if you are Blake Bortles, like, I don't know if the parsing that Jalen Ramsey did elsewhere in the interview where he talks about how playoff Blake was really good and you don't necessarily credit Blake Bortles for being a subpar quarterback, but you say that he's actually, he doesn't suck and that's enough, which is all. Well, he also said Blake Bortles was good yeah. for what they, needed him, them, what they needed him to do, which was in large part, give the ball to Leonard Fournette a lot. Yes, also that. Who's the Miami quarterback? Said Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey to GQ. Cortez, is it still Tannehill? It is still Tannehill. Okay, I All thought right. this was a pretty easy one. But Jalen Ramsey did not know that Ryan Tannehill had a name. Or he just didn't. Yeah, that, yeah I feel like he knew kind of who he like was. Redhead? You know, guy. is he redhead? I don't know. Okay, next quote. What's the Atlanta quarterback's name? <laughs> Say Jaguars quarterback Jalen Ramsey <laughs> to GQ. And then he went after that and gave a pretty thorough exposition as to why it is that he's not really here for Matt Ryan. He's like, how you lose Kyle Shanahan, but keep Julio Jones and you're not good. He Matt, gives it all to Shanahan. 
In fact, I think Matt Ryan's overrated. You can't tell me you win MVP two years ago and then last year you a complete bust and you still got Julio Jones. There's no way that should ever happen. Said Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey to GQ. Like this is, I, I think, forgot verging. you had that card, by the way. But this Sorry. Is, but this is verging on straight up disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ryan it did in fact win MVP two years ago, and yes, the criticism after that line, I think you can argue Jalen Ramsey, but you also forgot his name. Yes. That's crazy. Yes, I would like to note though that what he said there, some of us had kind of wondered this thing about Matt Ryan. And yeah. after the, even the MVP season, he was not the same person. Kyle Shanahan's agent is Jalen Ramsey, by the way. Oh Jalen Ramsey loves Kyle Shanahan in part because he felt like the 49ers lit them up and he said it was all scheme. Because it's not like he's going to give any credit to any of the guys that were actually running routes and stuff That's like correct. that. That's correct. He's like correct. fullbacks getting wide open, running 20 yards down the field. But it is startling to me because Jalen Ramsey is not alone in sports in being a guy who knows fewer names than the people covering him. Yes. And that's always demoralizing <laughs> if you're those other guys.